Hey guys, Jose Zavala back here with DTX Advisors. Hey, let's talk about what's important. The stimulus checks. For you guys that are employees that don't qualify necessarily for a lot of these other things on the CARES Act, this is for you. Okay. Stimulus checks. Let's talk about them. Everybody's talking about them. Okay. $1,200 per person. Per person. $2,400 for those filing a joint tax return. $500 per qualifying child, okay? So you can get a maximum of $2,900 if you're filing, if you're married with one child, okay? But, 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 there's a maximum. Maximum adjusted gross income. Not your taxable income, your adjusted gross income, okay? There's a big difference there. I've seen some people post taxable income or talk about taxable income. It's not taxable income. It's adjusted gross income. That's before your standard deductions or your itemized deductions and other things like that, okay? So, let's talk about it. You're filing single. Maximum gross uh, income, maximum adjusted gross income, $75,000. If you make more, it starts to phase out, okay? Mary filing jointly. One hundred and fifty thousand. Head of household, one hundred and twelve five hundred. Okay, so what that means is, if you make, if you're just a gross income on your twenty eighteen or your twenty nineteen tax return, depending on where you sit in here, is equal or less to that. Congratulations, you're getting a check. You're getting a check, which is great. We need it. Pay our bills, pay pay whatever we need to pay. Awesome. Excited. It's going to be based on your 2018 or your 2019 if you've already filed. Okay, so if you guys haven't filed your 2018, please get them in, out, sent, ASAP. Okay? They're going to direct deposit into the bank account that they have on file. So if you ever had a direct deposit or you made a direct payment with your bank account, they're going to take that information and push the money into there. If you have if they have no banking, they're going to mail it to the they're going to mail you a check. From my understanding, this is my understanding, they're going to mail you a check to the last known address they have on file, okay? They will also in the bill, they wrote this specifically 15 days after they issue the check, they're going to send you a letter, okay, to the last known address stating how much the check was, where it was sent to, and phone number for questions that you may have. Let me make sure if that's what it was. It was... Date the payment was distributed to the taxpayer's last known address. The method which was paid in the amount and a phone number to call the IRS. Okay, so you're going to get a letter that tells you how much you should have received, which method that they used, okay, and a number to call if there's any problems for it. All right? So, stimulus checks, guys. Let's review. $1,200 per person, $2,400 for filing joint returns, $500 for qualifying child. My understanding is if you have an I-10, you don't qualify. Well, they, they made it pretty perfectly clear. If you have an I-10, if you're a non-resident alien, you don't qualify for the stimulus check. Now, the question has been if you have a child that is, let's say, a citizen or has a social, do, are they going to get a $500 check? My understanding, my interpretation of what I've seen is that yes, because they fall within the parameters of being a qualifying child. They have a social, they meet uh, all the tests to be a qualifying child, so uh, I, I, my understanding is yes, it is gonna be sent out for the child. So if you are, if, if you're a non-resident alien, you're not gonna get this, but if you're, let's say you have children that are born here, my understanding is you're still gonna get that $500. I'm going to double check on that just to make sure, but from what I've read, from my understanding, that's the way it is, okay? Remember, 2018 or 2019, and 
You gotta look at your tax returns. If you're single, you make an over $75,000, I believe it starts to phase out. Married finally jointly, 150. Head of household, 112, 500. If you're at that or below, you're good. You're getting a check, okay? As soon as we figure out what number to call, we will go ahead and share that to you guys. That way, if there's any problems, y'all can go ahead and call. Make sure you get make sure you get these checks. And yeah, alrighty. So thanks, guys. We'll see you at the next one.